Hello, my sparks, and oh, welcome to a new series. A series I've been anticipating coming out. A series I've been a long, long sight for. <coughs> Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago. In a strange and far-off land, a big, bustling town sprung up. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness spilled the skies and the earth roared and shook, as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into pages of fairy tales. And when the town site no longer had a relative past, people gathered the spot and built a new town. The words were spread among the people who moved in that an ancient sea lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed, this is a tale of the fabled treasure of Roveport. Yes, this is where it begins in Seatown sea sea of Roveport, the tale of the quest for the legendary treasure, and the thousand year door starts here. Welcome to Let's Play Paper Mario at the Thousand Year Door. I'll talk more later. Finally, I have met without Toast for watching over me. He's so paranoid. I came all this all the way here on holiday and only to stop with Toast work. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it all, all I see is this in terms of very, um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy, Missy! Don't you buy something I have the wise or knickknacks and doodads, but this is a special favorite. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? The box holds a map that shows where to find treasure. But the box is a magic locker, but only but will open open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, so much budge that if one such myself touches it. Ooh. Box will open for you, Missy, but you may have whatever is inside. Wee! <laughs> Go on, hold it. I'm not gonna charge you or anything. I suppose I could try opening it. Before people ask, I have played a little bit, but not too much. So yeah, we'll be playing on a completely new file. Uh, on my personal file, I will be doing all titles, but I'll talk about what we're actually going to be doing in this file. The LP file. Mail call! Nice to see you power carry in this sort of style. And this last we'll probably ever see of him. Hey bro! Check it out! A letter from Princess Peter out for you! I am so sorry for the bad Luigi. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? As you can see in the background, you can see the Paper Mario 1 partners. Maybe remember, remember some of them, because there's some analogs I'm going to make for them. Ahem! Now let's see here! Hello! 
Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside of a box from an old merchant in the town called Rogueport. Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try and find treasure all by myself, I thought... But I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I have a clip of the map of this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. Why do you know? It's true. There's a web old map in here with a letter. Check it out. to Rogueport. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So the original game released on the GameCube, so it's been a while since this. And I do want to go over what are my thoughts on the Paper Mario series. But first, Prologue! A rogue's welcome! And now we have the press A to actually proceed. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, sir? <laughs> Please wake up, sir. What time you've been speaking of off has come into view? Look, that's Rogueport. <laughs> you see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Sir, our arrival was delayed just a bit by a rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales of about Roadport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting for you? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, I don't want to stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. And now we're on control. We can jump with A, we can move with the left stick, we can press B to use our hammer, we can press plus to open the menu, and we've got our rising star rank, whatever, whatever the star rank may be, health points, which, yeah, flower points, used to perform moves, don't know what that means, badge points, star points, coins, which we throw off 100, nice, star pieces, Whatever these do, it's a shine sprites. And we don't have anything else here. We have a journal, and that's it. So, about what I, how much experience I have with the Paper Mario series. Uh, I started out with Super Paper Mario and actually had. I actually really liked it. I liked the story, but starting off with the, with the platformer is a kind of a bad thing in some regards. Uh, this is a save block. It's it. just hanging it saves, you don't get shoot choice. But yeah, uh, I played the original. I, unlike most people, I'm not too big a fan of the original Paper Mario. It's clunky and it's. You can tell it's the first game because it's like. So many odd choices. Thankfully, hopefully. The Thousand Year Door would fix that, but I didn't actually get to play the Thousand Year Door on official hardware for a long time because this is actually the first time I'm playing on official hardware because the game has been made too expensive. Like I said, and I usually say, I don't recommend pirating, but I had to use a ROM to be able to play it, but also play Buka Mario. If you know Buka Mario, you yeah, know, I probably had some fun. Uh, I did play Sticker Star a bit. I wasn't a fan. I really don't like Sticker Star. Uh, I played a bit of Color Splash on a friend's Wii U, even though I do have a Wii U, U myself. 
Uh, I didn't want to risk Solar Splash and I have played a bit of Origami King and I did not like it. I really did not like it. Color Splash I had a bit of fun with but even then it was a bit annoying. Hey! What do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh, come off it! I know you're a nosy book nerd, so don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about crystal stars. Well, now I'm do now. Well, now I'm doing the asking. So be a good little student and tell us what you know, right now. Never. I don't want anything to say to you, creeps. Ew. Suppose it wouldn't be right. If a sassy little ass like you met with an untimely demise. Buh, buh, buh. Boys, we're taking the spa brand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. N no, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. So, as Mario does, let's save a damsel in distress. Like I go in with smelly, smelly losers like you. Huh. Not likely. Whoa. What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? Gah! That's always something. Looks like I'm going to have to give you a load of his little crumple bomb. Now we're in battle. First battle. Yeah, this is the only time we'll ever see this stage. Battle time, Mr. Man! Must find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't spend the details, just jump on him or hit him with your hammer. And yeah, we got four options. Tactics, allows us to defend or run away from Mal. Items, we have no items. And we have our option of hammer, to use a normal hammer, or jump, use a normal jump. You'll know what those why they're called normal jump and normal hammer later. So let's just try and jumping on him. And if we press A on the right time, we end up jumping on him. Sweet! You know about her. Wow, I gotta say you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Pressing A at the right time was the guard, and it's got better timing than the original. And if we use a hammer do that, pull back and let go, we do more damage. Hit for a hammer. You got on ropes, come on, keep wailing on him. And if we press it with the perfect timing and press B, we can do what's known as a super guard. I managed to show all that off in one boss fight and take no damage. Now we gain star points, which we can gain from defeating enemies, as our Goomba companion here is going to tell us. You did it! You did it! Yes! And you got star points! That's what these little things are, star points. Star points you will get show up there. When you get 100, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Buh! 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 Okay, you got a couple of decent shots and I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Punish him! Quick! This way! Whew. What a bunch of bozos. Let's just sneak our way out of here. Uh -huh. Stop! Where'd they go? Huh? You, Johnson! Did you see them? Did anyone? Ugh, crud. They bolted. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I've just got to give you a little reward. 
My name's Gumbella. I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Oh, yes. Mario? Wait, you mean, like, the famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just fooled into town yourself, right? <laughs> Oof! Stay down, bro! The boss says his greetings. I'll do our own taste for you. Are you okay? That hurt. Those jerks. We won't forget this. Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expanded it, but sheesh! You'd never come to a place like this if, it weren't, if there weren't some legendary treasure, treasure here. What? You're looking for legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Bucko! What you got there? Oh my gosh! Is, is that a map? You didn't tell me where you got that. Princess Peach? What? Great Hoogly Boogly! If it isn't Master Mario! Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place, hmm? Oh ho! Tell me, Master Mario, what, are, what in the world will bring you to this wretched little bird of scum and villainy? Hmm? Ah, indeed! Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map? And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport? Intriguing! Oh, yeah. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eyes off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished! You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility she may never return! Oof. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her, surely. But I know my place, Master Mario. This is not it. I'll leave the task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn, right over there, and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP hot points running low. Just drop on in! Oh ho! Yes, anyway. A little rest there will fill up all of your HP. I must say though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff I say! Huff I say! Um, Princess Peach? Did you mean like Peach from the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? The princess who always gets, gets nabbed by the Bowser, by Bowser of Koopa King? The one you rescue? rescue? Wait a second! This is wild! Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense! Where could she have gone then? What do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find treasure on her own? Ooh, ooh, I know Mario! Come with me! One of my professors is here, researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll find some clues about Princess Peach. Great! We're all good then. Let's go, Mario! Goombella joined the party! Now we've got our first party member. We'll talk more about her later. Or, at least, outside of battle. In battle, at least. Outside of battle, we're gonna get a tutorial. Yeah, I'm gonna say this right now, Goombella's abilities are not worth it. Probably not be having Goombella out with if we get new party, party members. I've mastered them. Yeah. I'll talk about the title ability bit and the headbomb ability. And I skipped a bit of dialogue, I didn't mean to. I think was that she was saying we have to go find her professor. Thing is, I just got to tell myself I um, don't know where he actually is. His name is Professor Frankly, and he looks like this. 
Oh, before I forget to mention, from here on, on, if you ever feel lost, confused, try pressing the L. That'll be my cue to share any info I know, which might help us figure out what to do next. Studying pays off. Yeah, that's our that's our hint system. But before that, we should do this. Freeze! You two! Not another step! Don't come this way! Some complete jerk! Just bumped into me and made a little contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move and itch. Not an inch! You hear me? Okay, we won't move an inch. We'll just jump an inch. I did jump! I meant to jump! Ah! Idiot! You stepped on it! My poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? This is your fault. Now I have to pay buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy! Fine! If that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf! I'm gonna block the key to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. And we have to go over here, because this we need to start as early as we can. <laughs> welcome! Yes, welcome to the Toe Bros Bazaar. <laughs> eh, what's that? You want contact lens, you say? Hmm, wait a moment. Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one, one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? And we'll go get the tutorial for how a shop works. No, you don't need to explain again. I'm not here to check out points yet. And this is the rewards. Being real, they're not, they don't get good really until Live Shroom, Live Mushroom, because the gold bar is alright. Just alright. Oops, pardon me, sucker! Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you! Okay, but I'm you and just runs off like that? Unbelievable, some people are so rude. Yeah, and he stole money from me, and I'm getting that money back. I have to go all the way around here. I can find where he lives. First of all, before we go do anything, we grab this. Star piece, a lovely piece of a star. Yoops! Uh, a fancy being you here. You pretty dense business, buddy. What a pain. Fine, okay, you got me. I'll give your coins back. Here. Squish and bugs with a hammer and you get some coins. And there's a star piece up there, so we're going to probably grab that before we move on. But also allows us to... We'll talk to that guy later, he's plot important. Okay, we can't get that yet, so we have to wait until we actually get badges. I wasn't sure about that. We'll be back right here for the badges. As well as some more things. I, I know, I'm not... We'll talk to the guy in here later, but we're mainly here with this guy. Oh hi! There you are! Professor Frankly! What's up? 
Who was there? Who was that? Was me? Ah, yes. You, uh... Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Um, it's not Goombriel. Uh, it's not Eliza Goom. Ah! I got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes sir, that's me! I'm Goombella, a junior at you Goom. Go Goombas! Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You go, you stick out in my mind because you're such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Who? Mario, Professor! He's Mario, you know, the famous one. Oh my apologies. I'm such a book I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. I apologize for that peek the mic. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? Robin, you tell us about the legendary treasure set to be below Rogueport. Oh, that's not. I thought if anyone knew about it, you you would profess frankly. Of course I would know about it. The reason I came here was to study the very subject. But why do you types want to learn about their legendary treasure? You know most days a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for the for truth in those fairy tales though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point. Well, and well made in that case. I'll co co cooperate with you however I can. First of all, should I start dressing by just what the legendary treasure is? Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure, infinitely vast treasure hole. While others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories. Obviously, it's impossible to find truth among them. But we all, but all agree on one point: to find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. Crystal stars? Find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. That's how the whole thing goes. And with a rhyme that's all it must be true. Therefore, if you want to find the tre legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Oh hey, I researched some of the written lore behind the treasure and you can't match that old saying. Hold the magical map to lock before the entrance to the thousand year door. And the stars will light the way of at least the stones of yesterday. Stones of yesterday. Is that referring to the same crystal stars you mentioned? It must be! And we're in luck, it seems the present your door is located somewhere beneath the spare town. Did the critical people the critical piece of the puzzle the magical map is lost? If only we had the map. But we do have it! Or well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? Hummina, hubbity, hubbity, hibbity, hoobity, hamala, hoofla, hoofla, really? You actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind? Astounding! This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! You son are my hero! You're great! Fantastic! Wonderful even! With this map, we can locate the crystal stars just by holding it up to up in front of the thousand year door. Right on, Professor. Gee golly, what are we do doing just sitting here then? Goombella, Mario. Let's take the magical map to the thousand year door. Off we go. Off we must go, resist it. I'll lead the way to the sewers underneath the town. I bet you didn't know this Russian little thing came off, did you? <laughs> we can use this fight to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Oh, wait, hang on a sec. Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm sure there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. Would you two like to practice action commands before we send? For the basis of battle, after all? Nope. Really? A master, are you? Maybe you're the prize to live once, just to be safe. No, I'm good. A bold, a bold lad, aren't you? A quick professional when your partner attacks. 
match with shown screen. Guard press A. Yeah. Now, before we go to the right, which is where we have to go, let's go to the left. This guy down here will move up he here later. We can't do anything from him yet. And we have... Haha! -ha, welcome, Mario! I am a lovely, but fortune lovely fortune teller. Seeing the amazing abilities that which you seek is my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light that which I, what I wish to see. Uh -huh. So, shall I use something for you? Merly, Merlovely here will tell you pretty much how much star pieces, pieces you can collect, how many shine splits you can collect, yada yada. Yada, and also the hint system. You have to pay money, but hey, if you're lost, don't be afraid to ask. Or look up a guy, she's pretty much useless at this point. Ah, is that so? Well, if, if there ever is anything you want to find, just ask. The Merlovely is a recurring character in the Paper Mario series, but after Super Paper Mario, she did not appear. And that's the game where she had a very important role. Pretty much a lot of the Mer family came back. Hey, hey man, what's up? You've been eating as cool to waltz your way into our underground? Typical, you service snobs are so stuck up. Ooh, I can see the sun. I like to breathe clean air. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, come on over here, scruffy mustache man. We're gonna teach you some proper manners. Leave him alone. Can't two academics and a world famous hero wander the sewers of a port town in peace? If this is your usual green to visitors, then you must have learned it down here because it stinks. Ouch, that was cool. What? You're too good for a fight? If you ain't looking to tussle, then stay out of the sewer. Nobody doesn't start a fight with us. Nobody. Let's get it. So that was actually a dialogue change from the original. In the original, they cackled Bella, and people aren't too happy that they changed it. And I get, I sort of get why, but uh, I also feel like it's not that big of a thing to really worry about planning about. And it might just be a direct translation for the Japanese version. Someone can correct me on that though. That last bit though. A Goomba, a Spiky Goomba, and a Power Goomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is the fellow in the middle, the Spiky Goomba. See the spike on his head? Well, jump on it, and you, you're the one that'll take damage. Power Goomba's there, so you're how to reach. You'll have to jump for him. You get what I'm saying? Study your opponent before you choose an attack. Be ready for those tricky action commands. While well, attacking and blocking, now go get her. Oh, that's right, I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you to attack in. You can attack first if you like Goombella. Don't forget that. I'll just be over here watching you two of you do your thing from a dis safe distance. But good luck. Yeah. We can get rid of Power Goomba. And just to show off Tattle. That's Goomba! Yeah, I'm one of those in case you haven't noticed. Yeah, you can see the HP and attack in the fall. Yeah. Goomba, Goomba will talk and pretty much. Yeah. Too soon. Alright. But I won't actually be tattling every enemy because. Hey, that's too much work for so little game. And as you see, I'm doing stylish actions. They don't have anything for us. Yeah, I just want to do some of those. But I will be tackling every boss, or trying to. If I fail to, it's not going to be a big deal. Ha! Ah, later on, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from and they'll have it in for us. When they attack, try hammer try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. 
attack successfully and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. If so if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump them as soon as you go into battle. Sadly, we don't have a way to speed up traversal yet. As a show, I'm gonna show. Oh no, enemy, an enemy that has an item. Uh, defeat enemies with items quicker, quickly, because otherwise they will use items. I will do. I will try and show off battling every enemy, though. So don't worry. Try to jump on spiky enemies, even on the field. Otherwise, you'll take damage. In fact, there's even some enemies that you can't hammer, which is really annoying, being honest. We've got an item. You can only hold 12 items currently. I don't remember if we can upgrade them. Upgrade the amount of how that can hold. Get used to doing rat to timing things, so. I managed to super grab by accident. I didn't mean to press B. I'm about to press A. But, granted, I might be proven wrong. off and let's get going. Jump down here to get the key. Strange black key, black key, we will need this for later. Not too far later, in fact. That must mean you're the, le legendary, the hero of legend! Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah! Everyone else? None. <laughs> See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me and locked me in this chest. It was a real drag. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario. Hey Mario, a, a word with you? I'm not exactly confident you can trust this chest. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, Trent, 
I just said it out loud! What is wrong with me? Oh yeah, you're searching for the crystal stars, are you? Now, so you really are a hero! Well, you're definitely going to need mild if you hope to get those bad boys. So first, you should look for the treasure key to the chest, then use it to let me out. Definitely. I'm not sure how this chest guy would know anything about crystal stars. What do you think we ought to do? Well, I know my vote goes to you finding a key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. This is what the key looks like, by the way. We picked up. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you. Oh, great legendary hero. Whoa, what? You already found the key? Oh, man, I owe you big. Yes. Thank. Ha! Thank nothing. <laughs> Fall for it. I burned you! What, you think I was gonna help you? <laughs> Instead, I'm gonna spread a little suff love the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil curse upon you. Bookly, bookly, woo! Your curse! <laughs> Wee! Enjoy my curse, sucker! You got what you deserve! You wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Listen well. For now, when you if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. <laughs> Trembling yet, suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. <laughs> oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed! This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I guess I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel now. Try pressing Y, and then BAM! Your paper airplane. You'll control your tiny paper plane itself by tilting forward, left stick forward and back. The plane will rise up if you tilt left in the direction behind you. However, if you keep tilting le left stick too much, you'll slow down and start to fall back to the ground. Once you start to rise, stop tilting left stick. Time is key. Try now. Suffer your total aerodynamic humiliation. <laughs> when you had enough airplane shame, press B to D plane and get back to normal. Be so be honest, do you fully understand the peril of this curse is bestowed upon you? Yes, I get it, cursed box, I'm cursed. Farewell, foolish fool. <laughs> Help us, really. He wasn't really that much of a curse. And if you're really good, you can actually glide so long and not have to worry about things. Oh, Mario! Good Look at that! I think Franklin's voice has just changed. Is that the fel is that the thousand year door? I can't believe it's real. So the legends are true. Come, let's go closer. Frankie, Franklin, you, 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 can you teach me how to teleport like that? Professor, what's going on?
The location of the crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Mario has learned the special move and won a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Press through the map! And what was all those strange lights? Hmm, <laughs> this looks like information related to the location of a crystal star. And that shining light, it looks like a, as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study oh, that yeah. closely. Aha! I see. You understand it, Professor? Of course I do! And I shall explain. The first thing to know is... The map is truly astounding! Somehow this map contains radar-like functions. It's showing us the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes! This area is a vast meadow that lies far east of Roadport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in the research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anyone know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that someone beneath the city is a pipe to the Petal Meadows. If you just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious, how did you get that map anyways? From Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario. This Princess Peach? This wouldn't be her, would it? Blonde hair, wears a crown, wears a pink dress, has blue earrings. So what it is, ha? Huh? Your princess didn't see me the other day, she wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about the petal meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to petal meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicion of you asking about the same thing. Hmm. But I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to petal meadows you two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Deleting the crystal size is a means to an end. And then end this Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. But of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor? Well, Mario, we're off. Give it your best! Now then, allow me to give you both a proper farewell. Ah, oh, Mario, there's something I forgot to mention. Firstly, about the light you saw shining on you, by my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it, well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than worse. Would you like to try it out? Uh, no, because I can explain it better. This is very important. You better listen. I mean it. Are you ready to listen? No, thanks. Hmm. Are you absolutely sure? Well, all right. Just remember, in battle, the bigger your audience, the better. That'll be explained later. In probably episode two. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. We got our first badge. Power smash. It's called a badge, and it's incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badge you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's more is knowing that what effects will be when you first equip the badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? No, that one's self-explanatory. Are you absolutely sure? This is the last time we'll ask. Do you want to practice? No. You see, well, then just remember this one part You must equip badges to for them to take effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you flower point to use power smash. Just show, yeah, we can just equip this and yeah. But we'll go back here. Don't need to do that. Okay, so one of the shops is not here yet. But hey, that's fine. We want to go here. 
to open this. The badges. Bad shop. First, I'm going to buy these nostalgic tunes because it's actually quite useful. No, I understand. One less because it's cheap. Power jump, powerfully stops on the enemy, piercing blow. Ah, uh, none of these are good. None of these are good. We'll have to come back for checking these. Because I was hoping for a different badge to potentially be here. The last stand is actually pretty good. But yeah, I will hit save. And next time we'll be heading to Paddle Meadows! And hopefully, probably getting some more battles and probably leveling up. Maybe finding out where the Crystal Star is. I'll see you guys then! Xeno and Azuma signing out!